Okay, so for today's episode, we'll share a bit about bottom fishing. Okay, so again, this is the episode where we share our own preference, our own experience. Okay, uh, there's no right or wrong. Okay, it's just a sharing. Okay, whether you want to follow or not, uh, is is your own choice. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about bottom fishing. Okay, so, so the, the rule number one of bottom fishing, right, is actually you must understand is that in the sea there is current. Okay, so when you go for boat fishing, there's a lot of current. Okay, so okay when boat fishing we call it bottom fishing basically is you just drop your rig your tenya your mada your apollo all the way to the bottom then play around the seabed okay so that's what we do in singapore the reason is because uh, most of our fishes is near the seabed okay we hardly have like mid water uh, or, or, or top water okay we have but those fishings people go on the boat they they will throw their jigs they will throw their uh, their argy rubbers all these things uh, their lures all these things so they really target like mostly trebellies so bottom fishing people will target mostly the groupers la, the snappers etc okay so basically today the rule number one that we want to share about right is if you go bottom fishing if you watch our episode about pe lines la, okay the line has a diameter okay so in those if you buy those japanese lines they go with pe so pe is like they have a diameter so pe1 is a certain diameter pe2 is a certain diameter okay so we will use pe instead of explaining it in uh, brands and, and and the poundage the reason is because every brand has their own poundage and their own poundage has their own diameter and sometimes they don't use the pe as a diameter they just say oh this one is how many di what diameter so you wouldn't know okay so basically we use pe as a gauge if you use PE1, okay, compared with a PE2 line, basically PE1 has less resistance. It can cut the water better. Okay, what do I mean? Okay, so basically if you are using a, a, a tenya, okay, if you use a PE1 line, a thin line, okay, you are able to let this thing sink to the bottom of the seabed nicely. If you use a PE2 line, uh, maybe the current is very strong. The current will push. Okay, okay. I do a more exaggerating explanation is that sometimes uh, the current is so strong and your line is too thick, you drop the weight, uh, the weight never ever hit the seabed. Right? It just kept push and push and push and push, push and push and push further by the current. Okay, so that's what we mean by layang or fly kite. Okay, which because the current is too strong and this thing cannot hit the bottom, and because your line is too thick, it creates a resistance, it cannot cut through the water properly. So basically, that's something that you need to remember because if you use thick lines okay you need to use uh, heavier weights if you use thin lines uh, that's where you can go for lighter weights lighter rigs uh, apollo tenya wada whichever that you like okay so the line is very important normally when we go boat fishing we will bring two rods one rod for the lighter lines okay so that we can use the lighter weights for those places that's less naggy okay less sanko then the second setup we bring is a heavier setup where we want to target the bigger groupers, deeper waters. So we use heavier lines. So when we use heavier lines, what must you do? We must use heavier weights. Okay. So that is normally the case and normally how it works. Okay. So today we're gonna to talk about uh ten yard. Okay. This ten yard right has been quite a hot thing in Singapore and surprisingly it works really really well okay this is also because of the rain most of our fishes is at the bottom okay so first of all when I talk about tenya I'm talking about the local kind of tenya okay the local kind of tenya okay I'm going to show you a picture okay we are not talking about the Japanese tenya why because Japanese tenya are normally very light they are normally 40 50 60 grams okay they don't make until 100 over grams only in Singapore you realize that our uh, anglers here create tenya up to 100 over grams 150 grams because of our current and also the fish that we are targeting okay so if you ask me right I will prefer to use tenya the reason is because i have tested apollo and a lot of other ways i realized that tenya is more effective okay but let me explain to you tenya is also uh, something that's more costly the reason is because if you calculate apollo and all these things right they are definitely cheaper but you need to have the effort to tie but let's talk about the effectiveness of it okay i realized that um tenya has a has a very good design that can be used locally okay so this is a few things that i realized during my fishing and the bottom fishing okay so you realize that for tenya is a long shank hook okay so when the fish bite right normally we don't know why right you we always put this uh, on the head of the of the prawn the live prawn so the fish like to hit the head first so this is where you put in tail so the tail and the head is here the, the tail head and the eyes is here the fish like to whack this part so when the fish whack this part uh, when you hook them right the fish mouth is actually around here 
with a long shank hook ah, it, and a, even if you have a light leader, the fish will not bite your leader. You see, so this hook ah, is long, so it prevents the fish from biting the leader. That's where you uh, can use light leader. But Apollo, you use light leader, ah, normally you hook the fish. Ah, if you don't use a long shank to tie, you use a normal hook to tie, the fish will actually be biting onto the leader. So your leader may last for one or two fish. May a leader, if you hit a big fish, your leader may be even bite and, and because of abrasion, because of the teeth of the fish, they'll bite off your hook and they'll run away. So this is something that Tenya can actually counter. Okay. So um, another thing is very interesting is that the Tenya comes with a smaller hook. So this smaller hook uh, normally is for you to, uh, I realize that the smaller fish tend to get hooked on the smaller hook, which I think is, is a good thing, lah, you know. And one last thing that I like to use Tenya is because right, the hook is always facing up. Okay, so when I feel that I hit onto a rock or onto a snack, I will immediately pull the Tenya up. When I pull the tenya up, uh, you will realize that my hook is always being controlled in this direction. It's harder uh, for me to snag a tenya onto the reef. But today, if you are using like the rolling singer or madai or ichigu, the hook is actually hanging over here. Okay, so in tenya, this one I normally hook on the prawn head. Lah. I don't know why, but many people tell me hook on the prawn head. And then I say the prawn will die, right? But they tell me that the prawn eyes will glow. And to be fair, it actually really worked. So I don't, don't ask me why, but it would just work on the prawn head. Okay, so just at the back of the prawn head, don't, don't go and hook the brain at the back of the prawn head. Maybe the prawn will last longer like this. So this thing will be dangling. It's basically like this. But you see, for others, you have this hook floating here, floating here. It tend to snag. Okay, this is just from my personal experience. So I really prefer to use this because I really hate to snag during a boat trip, then you know, the boat is shaking, then I have to sit down and tie, then everyone out there having their chances, and they're like, shit, you know. So, uh, today I'm going to share with you this uh, loka tenya, okay. So, what, what's so nice about this loka tenya, the thing is, I like this loka tenya because it comes in very three very nice colors, okay. It more, it's more of a jig color, which I really like it, and a lot of people tell me fish cannot see color, but to me, from my experience, even I go jigging, I realize that it, let's say you go Cebu, Cebu like to Cebu Malaysia, they like the green and yellow jigs. So why they like green and yellow jigs? When you go Maldives, they like the chrome jigs. They don't like the color jigs. So there's a reason why, and also maybe they don't see the red like a red. They don't see the orange like an orange. But I think they can differentiate the colors. Okay. So the loka comes with an extra long shank hook, which is a very strong hook. Okay, and it comes in hundred and hundred thirty grams. Okay, I like heavier. Uh, rigs. The reason is because I don't like to layang. Just now, remember I told you about the fly kite, right? I don't like to fly the kite. So I like to be able to control the tenya near the seabed and drift together with the boat. Okay, drift together with the boat. So this is what I like to do, like it's just my personal preference. That is why in shop, right, we only sell the 100 and 130 gram. We don't sell the lighter ones. Uh, even on like, let's say PE1 line, you know, okay, normally I'm a bit kiasu. I don't use anything less than PE1. So on a PE1 line, I use 100 and 120 grams, right? I, you know, some days the current are really strong, right? You still have the lion effect, but not that bad. So that is my first rod. I go for the thinner lines, then I don't want to drift so much. I want it to play nicely. Then my second rod will be the heavier rod. I use like P2, P3, P4. Then I use heavier, uh, then just like 130 grams. Uh, sometimes no choice, I have to use until 160 grams. You know? So this is just my personal preference, okay? So that's it for today's uh, video. If you want to get this uh, Tenya 100 and 130 grams, I think they work very well with the long shank hook. So that is the good thing about Tenya that I realized. So I would just want to share with uh, my audience and my subscribers. So that's it for today's video. If you are interested in this, you can uh, WhatsApp us, come to shop, message us, and i see you in the next episode. Hit the like button and the subscribe button and bye-bye.